What's up guys, it's All Day Anthony and welcome back to the RSX vlog that you hopefully know and hopefully love because in today's video we're installing an OEM RSX high spoiler. Let's go. guys so today's video is an exciting one but also somewhat stressful as we're gonna be drilling into the hatch of my beautiful Acura RSX and that's because we're gonna be installing the a spec low spoiler as well as the a spec high spoiler we're gonna be putting a spoiler on my spoiler because that's just how I do things so in order to go forward with the install I don't have a ton of room here so let's flip this thing around And go figure, in the 30 seconds that this thing was outside, it got rained on. If that's not the story of my life, then I don't know what is. So, let's just jump into this. Over here, I have the A-Spec Low Spoiler that I picked up off of eBay from Icon Motorsport. Now, it did come color matched from Icon, and they did a fantastic job, especially for 125 bucks. You can't beat it. Now, I did have to add the double-sided tape onto the back myself, so I went through, added the stuff they gave me, and I added a little bit more of some stuff that I had lying around, and then on top of that, it does not come with hardware, so you're gonna have to figure that out. I went down to the store and picked up these right here, M6 by one, and uh, I think they'll do the job. They're a little bit long, so I might have to add a couple washers on the backside, but overall, I think that they're gonna do the job. So, this thing's pretty much ready to rock and roll. It's ready to go on the car. So what we have to do from here is prep the rest of everything. So, we're gonna pop the hatch, remove all the plastic pieces around the back of the hatch here, pull off the existing uh, Type S spoiler. Once this is off, I'm gonna actually polish out the entire top of the trunk here, just because it'll have the most accurate access with a polisher to be able to do that and then from there add that and then the stressful part happens where we're gonna have to drill some holes and I'm a little scared but you know what after doing the CRZ spoiler I don't think there's anything I can't do spoiler related so let's jump into it So this is fun. I just got done removing the interior hatch plastics and I found something that I was not expecting to find today. I went through, removed this side piece here, that side piece over there, removed this back piece, and then I was looking to see where the clips are for the spoiler here to remove it. And I start feeling around up there and I'm like, where are these little plastic clips that everybody talks about? And I see the two bolt holes, I see where it's bolted in, but I don't feel those plastics. And I'm like, huh. That's kind of weird, so I look a little further, look a little further, and then it dawned on me. It literally all hit me at once. Uh, this hatch is not the original hatch to the car. That VIN number right there is not the VIN number on the rest of the car. And so when I bought the car from the previous owner, she had told me about the rear end accident, and she told me that the bumper had been replaced, and she had told me that the hatch was dented. It had, it had a little bit of damage on the front there. And she was like, I was so amazed that that shop was able to fix it, the glass didn't break or anything like that, and they, and they got it back to brand new again. And I was sitting there thinking to myself, eh, yeah, I guess that's kind of likely, right? They just kind of, you know, pull that out and then, you know, blend it or do whatever they need to do. And, uh, yeah, and then I realized that, no, they just replaced the whole damn hatch. And I don't even know if she knew that. And what's funny is that I'm mad at myself because I'm like, Anthony, did you not go around and check the VIN actual numbers? I checked the tags. I didn't check the numbers. And uh, so go figure. How funny. So I guess I'm just gonna treat this as a blessing in disguise. I don't have a bunch of holes in my trunk and I'm pretty happy about that. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the uh, spoiler here, take this off the top by removing those two bolts. Then we're gonna see what it looks like underneath and uh, polish it out.
so quick update here. Going through, removing leftover double-sided tape residue on the trunk here. And uh, I did a quick mock-up of the replica A-spec deck lid there. And honestly, I don't know, guys. Like, I won't know until I start cinching everything down with double-sided tape, but just doing a mock-up there, it's a little bit short. So I'm gonna have to either open up this hole or open up this hole just a little bit on the inside to get it to where it fits right. But yeah, I kind of, I, I expected something like that to happen, but I knew this was gonna take a while. I didn't know it was gonna take me an hour and a half just to get to this point, but here I am, right? That's car stuff in general. So I'm gonna keep removing all this crap and keep going. <laughs> So here's the test fit of the mini deck lid on the trunk and this time around it's fitting much better. Not perfect by any means, but definitely better than what it was before. So swapping out that tape helped a ton. Uh, and then I also had to, for the hardware, because it was just a little bit too long on these M6 bolts here, I ended up using a couple washers just to backspace it on the backside here and it fit much better. So from here, it's just a matter of making it permanent or at least semi-permanent. So what I'm gonna do is kind of peel back that tape, loosen up the bolts and then try to set it as best as I can. I mean, if it doesn't fit right, it doesn't fit right, but I've done literally everything I could. I've gone above and beyond to try to make this fit. So if it does, amazing. I'll be super, super pumped. And we can finally move on to the actual main show over there. This is taking way too freaking long for something I didn't expect. So anyways, let's get this thing on. So it's about time we get to the good part. We have this behemoth of a spoiler here on the table, ready to go. And then we have the OEM gaskets right here, still in the bag. There's the part number if you're interested, as well as the OEM nuts. And there's the part number for those as well. Now from here, I'm gonna grab my fancy light, walk you over here, and you're gonna see two dimples right here and right here on the bottom of the hatch. And so technically, we're supposed to drill directly right in the middle of those, and it should fit perfect. Now I'm gonna do one more measurement here just to measure this, and then measure from here to here on these studs, making sure that's correct. But other than that, that's it guys. We're just gonna drill it, go from there. I don't even know what I'm gonna start with to be honest. I think I'm just gonna grab a bit, uh, measure it up, and then start sizing up the more and more I need. Um, but I'll probably let you guys know what I end up using once we get it done. So uh, enough talking, let's drill this damn thing. Go. Do what you're gonna 
guys, I would say that deserves a beer. Cheers. Mm. Oh, it's warm. Anyways, this looks freaking amazing. I am so pumped on this, it's not even funny. It completely transforms the car. I got a spoiler on my spoiler, and I just absolutely love it. So at this point, I need to take the spoiler off now that it fits, and then I'm gonna touch up the holes where I drilled, clean up all the, I don't know, shrapnel, that all the metal flakes everywhere. And then after that, um, I think it's time to sew this thing up. But holy shit, man, I am, I am so pumped on this. The fitment's amazing. Obviously, it's OEM, so it should be, unlike uh, you know, that thing in the middle there. But damn, I can't wait. I can't wait to pull this out tomorrow. I'm gonna drive it to work, show everybody at work, and they're gonna be like, oh my god, it's so badass. I'm gonna say, I know. I know it's badass. So anyways, let's get this thing done. Well guys, I'm breathing heavy. And not because of the work I've done, but because of how freaking sexy this car looks with a spoiler on it. Hot damn, I knew it was gonna look good, but I didn't know it was gonna look this good. It ties in together perfectly with the mini deck lid, and I think all RSXs need spoilers, all of them. I don't care what the heck it is. If it's an auto, if it's a base model, put a spoiler on it, it needs it. Trust me, it looks so freaking good, and in fact, I love spoilers so much that I'm going to put a spoiler on top of my spoiler on top of my spoiler because uh, let me show you at what's coming next. All right, so consider this a teaser. I can't put it on in today's video because that spoiler's paint needs more time to cure and I wanna make sure it cures properly. But uh, do some of you know what this is? Have you guessed it yet? Do you have an idea? I mean, come on. It should be pretty obvious, especially once you see it, but maybe some of you will be surprised. Look at this, Techno Craft with the sticker. Oh my gosh, a spoiler for my spoiler for my spoiler. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Password JDM Carbon Fiber Granny Flap. And it's going to look absolutely freaking, oh my God, it's gonna be amazing. Oh my God, it's gonna be amazing. I can't put it on yet, Anthony. I can't, I can't do it. I gotta give it more time to cure. But there's a teaser. <sighs> this rear end is gonna look so freaking good, I promise you guys. Once the suspension is done, once the lower control arms, the subframe brace, everything, it's gonna look amazing. So anyways, that's your teaser that you get. I'll put this on here eventually. I just can't do it today because I gotta give that spoiler more time to cure. But there's also something else in here too. From, what else is in here? Come on. Well, so here's the thing. I wanted to pick up some carbon bits for the car, and this is probably the coolest looking thing. Pass-through JDM, carbon fiber fuse box cover. It's gonna look freaking badass. But again, I'm gonna put that on once I get more into uh, the engine mods and the engine dress up stuff. So anyways, guys, this has been a ton of fun. I'm going to give you guys some beautiful after shots as the outro, which I'm gonna shoot tomorrow because it's pitch black outside. But thanks for hanging around with me. Thanks for enjoying the process. Hopefully you guys learned something new or maybe you just found it entertaining to watch me struggle and breathe heavy. But as always, I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching the RSX content. And as always, if you guys love it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Salt Anthony. Peace.